Hey folks, welcome to the second episode of the Avalanche Conditions Report brought to you by Whitewater Ski Resort and BackcountrySkiingCanada.com. My name's Dave, I'm part of the snow safety team up here at Whitewater. And talking about conditions, uh, last week we had a rain event, freezing levels spiked, uh, we had rain to the top of Weimar uh, Peak and uh, that created a pretty large avalanche hazard hazard really spiked um, in most parts of the province we actually saw hazards up to extreme which you don't see too often um, and then temps dropped and everything froze um, and now what we're dealing with is about 20 to 25 centimeters down we have a 10 centimeter thick melt freeze crust um, that's kind of good because it's dropped our avalanche hazard significantly um, it's really bonded everything together and it's created a really good base um, for all of the early season hazards um, around the ski hill and uh, in the backcountry there's a, a nice base on top of all the rocks and boulders um, and that's also dropped our avalanche hazard so this melt freeze crust from last week's rain event, you can see here in this little wall that I dug, it's about, um, I don't know, 12, up to 20 centimeters thick, about pencil resistance. Um, and, you know, that's gonna be our biggest layer of concern going forward here. As we get a load on top of this, that's what we're gonna be looking at. It's gonna act as a bed surface for avalanches to slide on, and it's gonna be something that we're really gonna be keeping our eye on for the next, uh, next month or so. Um, and then you can see this is our snow that we've had in the last week here. It's nice, nice uh, bomber fist, fist snow. So good skiing on top of this crust, which is really supportive. Yesterday and the day before, we've had some snow come in. Um, and it's like I said, now we have about 20 to 25 centimeters of low density snow sitting on top of that melt freeze crust. Um, and that hasn't really consolidated yet to, to present an avalanche hazard. It's just blower, um, blower snow, good skiing. We do have some weather incoming. We've got a big storm coming through. It's gonna hit us tomorrow night. So Friday night, we're looking at upwards of five centimeters and then the bulk of the storm is gonna really be rolling through on Saturday. So Saturday morning through Saturday evening, Saturday night, we're looking at maybe upwards of 20 to 25 centimeters. Freezing temperatures, freezing levels are gonna rise um, up to about 1400 meters and we're gonna have some strong winds. So I'm really cautioning people that this weekend um, to be very careful in the backcountry, you're gonna see our avalanche hazard with this incoming snow spike again. It's gonna be heavy, and then it's gonna be um, a, a very solid slab, a big load on top of this melt freeze crust that I'm talking about, and that's the perfect bed surface for avalanches uh, to slide on. So this weekend is a good time to uh, play it safe, stay in the backcountry, keep it to simple train, because we are expecting to see a large avalanche cycle occur. Um, Avalanche Canada right now, Thursday, is calling the hazard moderate. Again, you can expect probably by Saturday that hazard, especially in the Alpine, will jump to about considerable or maybe even high in some places. So, something to be aware of. Finally, I'm going to talk to you about what's going on around the resort. We are opening tomorrow, Friday, December 10th. Um, we are going to be opening up the Hummer Handle Toe and Silver King lift. Um, there is going to be limited train open on that. And then Summit and Glory will remain closed. Uh, we're gonna have cats working over there trying to get things ready. Um, so Summit, Glory closed, Summit's closed, the ski touring, no ski touring over there. Um, if you do wanna go ski touring in the backcountry this weekend, uh, you can access it through the Silver King lift or Hummingbird parking lot. Things are looking pretty good around here. I was skiing yesterday, that snow on top of the crust is actually skiing quite well. Um, and with the incoming snow, I think we're setting up for some good, some good conditions coming forward here for uh, ski quality. So. Um, we're stoked to be back. We're stoked to get the lift spinning, get everybody up here. Um, be patient with the new staff, be respectful, and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you at opening day tomorrow.